You guys ready to leave yet? We've still gotta buy flowers. Ayako, where's my clothes? I told you, I don't know. Come on, you're not Haruto. All right now. Time to go, Haruto. You're about to die, and come back to life again, Kiyu-san. If you agree to come with us, the reward will be considerable. You can put that guarantee on the Watase family name. But for that to happen, you're saying Hanawa needs to die. Yup. So here's my plan. First, I'll dredge up a corpse with a build like yours. When the Daidoji find it next to Hanawa-san, they'll think it's you. Publicly, both bodies will be declared unidentified. Corpse with a build like mine? You find those lying around often? Don't underestimate the Omi. Shit like that's a piece of cake. We even got a corner in the loop. This time it'll be us outwitting the Daidoji. I see. Sounds like a solid plan. Now we're speaking the same language. Sure. We would be if I were actually Kazuma Kiryu. Uh, are you still going on about that? Let Hanawa go. That's the only reason I came here. Uh, Kiryu-san! I told you, you've got the wrong guy. We're well, sitting here staring at each other is getting us nowhere. What's that supposed to be? Just what it looks like. A red tiger. Yeah, and I'm asking you what it means. There's someone in charge of the homeless in Osaka Sotenbori. Name's Akame. I want you to find them and show them this. Hanao-san is being taken there as we speak. It'll serve as a clue to help in your pursuit. Why are you doing this? Because the boss is the only one vouching for you. The rest of us aren't so convinced. Why should I go to all the trouble of bringing you into the fold? We're getting damn tired of waiting for you to prove yourself. You should have realized from the start. I told you, I'm not... Ah, you say you're not Kazuma Kiryu one more time. And Hanawa gets it. I'll leave you to make your own way to Sotenbori. Bring anyone else, the negotiations are over. You can bet you'll never see us again. As for Hanawa-san, good luck finding his corpse. So show the tiger to this Akame guy, and then what? Go and see for yourself. Akame's territory is on the south side of the Sotenbori River. Ask around there, and someone's bound to know. That's all I feel like telling you. Is this a game to you? Yup, but that don't mean you can dilly-dally. If the Dragon of Dojima is really everything they say he is, then he'll find answers soon enough. And if he ain't, then I guess this is all a waste of time. It's up to you if you want to leave Hanawa-san hanging. Literally. Do what you want. <sighs> Hello? Hello. That's me. Joryu. I've been waiting to hear from you. Any update on Hanawa-san? He's still a hostage, somewhere in Sotenbori, on Omi turf. I'm headed there now. Very well. What can I do from here? If you don't hear from me in the next three days, pass that info to the Daidoji. It'll mean I failed to save Hanawa. His life will be in your hands. Will it? I can't imagine the Daidoji will rush in to save you two. I know. 
And I just figured someone should tell them. Because if I die, then Hanawa's whereabouts die with me. Very well. I appreciate your consideration. Excuse me. Any chance you know someone called Akame? Akame? I don't know, buddy. Who's asking? I don't mean any trouble. Says the guy wearing sunglasses at night. Oh, uh, these are... Um... <laughs> Just giving you a hard time. If you're looking for Akame, ask one of the homeless. Should be some around there. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone called Akame. That's so. Well, Akame's always strolling around these parts. Not today, though. Can you tell me what they're like? Uh, if Akame hears I've been blabbing to a stranger, I'll be in the doghouse for sure. If you want details, you're better off asking someone else. Hey, do you know Akame? Akame-san? Yeah, now that you mention it. I saw Akame-san heading into the parking lot. You might catch up if you hurry. How do I recognize him? Who is he? You'll know when you get there, man. Better hurry, though. Gives you old goat. I'm looking for someone named Akame. Know anything? What business you got with Akame-san? 
beats me. <laughs> what kind of dumb shit answer is that? I'm not trying to be rude. I was told to find Akame and show them this. Oh, hold it, old man. That. It's what? <laughs> no way. You really don't know? <laughs> now that's priceless. So, can you help me out? I'm searching for a friend that's been kidnapped. This thing's my only clue. Not much good if you don't even know what you got. <laughs> Maybe my crew and I should take her off your hands. How about it? Oh, seems I picked the wrong person to ask. <laughs> you look pretty calm, old geezer. Sure you're not scared shitless. Hard to tell with you wearing those shades. Enough. I don't want to be forced to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, you demented coot. Hand it over while I'm still asking nicely. I warned you. That's my line, limp dick! Ready for this. <laughs> You're testing my patience. Take me to Akame. I'm done wasting my time. All right, quit the dick measuring. Haven't seen you before. You got guts coming to Sotenbori. And all by your lonesome, too. Must be tough shit. Who are you? <laughs> Aren't you the one who's looking for me? So, you're Akame? Last I checked. Would you mind not gawking at me? I was told you're in charge of the homeless around here. Gotta say, you're not what I expected. Hey now, that's not the only thing I do. Call me a jack of all trades. Fixer or informant, you name it. It all depends on the client. Hey, you ever gonna let that poor guy go? <laughs> so, what do you want from me? Well, well. A red tiger. So, you're a guest of the Watase family? Yeah. A man named Suno told me to show this to you. Ah. I get it now. Okay, how about you come with me, then? Wait, I, I never said I was on board. Do you work for Suno? As a lackey or something? <laughs> no way. Not me. Suruno-san and I've never met in person. Our relationship is strictly business. Huh? Then what about Hanawa? Hanawa? Who the hell's that? Are you serious? I, I, I don't know what you expected, buddy, but just leave it to me. Come on. I try not to make a habit of following suspicious people. Uh, I'm not Yakuza, though, you know? That still doesn't mean I can trust you. Hmm. Well, you might have a point there. By the way... Hmm? What should I call you? So, Suruno really didn't tell you a thing? Nah, nothing. All I know is whoever turns up with a red tiger is in for some hospitality. So, that means you're clueless too? Yeah. What do you mean by hospitality? I think it'll be more fun as a surprise. That tiger is an access pass to a very unique venue. Actually, we can't head there just yet, so cool your jets. It's Joryu. Hmm? You can call me Joryu. Well, as you already know, I'm Akame. Anyway, let's move, Joryu. Uh, sure.
This is... My office. Typically off-limits, but you're our special guest, so enjoy this red tiger welcome. This is an office? Bit of a dump, right? This used to be a warehouse for a cabaret club called Odyssey. Now, well, it serves its purpose. A retinal scanner? <laughs> I'll get you registered on that thing in a bit. What do you think? Welcome to my lovely office. Feel free to use it as you like, till we head to the venue I mentioned. The exterior is somewhat misleading. Well, if I glitz things up, I'd just become a target. I deal with plenty of creeps on the job. Always pays to be careful. You said you were a jack of all trades. Is one of those trades organized crime? That's real funny coming from the guy with the red tiger. Uh, <clears throat> Make yourself at home. Just let me register your eyes in the scanner. That way, you can come and go as you please. Alrighty. That should do it. You're all set. Hey, you got pretty eyes. So what's with the glasses? Aren't you just a guide? Stick to your job and stop the questions. Whoa. Why all the hostility? Well, you're free to leave if you'd like. Or we could keep talking. I'll be hanging out here for a while, okay? So what's next, Joryu? Why don't you tell me about yourself? I told ya, I'm a jack of all trades. Guess I do a little bit of everything, legal or not. But buying and selling info is the most lucrative. I look after the homeless around here. In exchange, I get juicy intel. So that's what Suruno was referring to. I probably come off as some sort of community activist to outsiders, huh? But Osaka's got more homeless than anywhere else in Japan. I gotta use local conditions to my advantage if I want to stay afloat as a small business. Let's talk later. So what's next, Joryu? Can we just move on to the venue already? Now's not a good time. We'll go tomorrow. Once we go, that's it. If you're not in tip-top shape, you'll regret it later. I can't afford to laze around. It's urgent. Hey, at least you got something to look forward to tomorrow. Just take it easy for today. What'll you do? Night's still young for me. I got a mountain of work. I'm not gonna strangle you in your sleep, so relax. Use that sofa if you need a nap, okay? Hey there. Did you sleep well, Joryu? Yeah, thanks. I was gonna wake you earlier, but you were sleeping like a baby. <laughs> and to think you made all that fuss about lazing around and such. You want an apology? <laughs> nah, you're good. Actually, I happen to be totally swamped today. You mind waiting a little longer before we get going? 
Look, I meant it when I said I can't waste time. Give me the location and I'll go myself. <laughs> Sorry, no can do. You need me with you. It's not the kind of place you can just waltz into. Not so. Uh, all right. If you're gonna be that way, then I got an offer for you. How about helping me out? You got that red tiger, so you must be pretty tough, right? The quicker I finish up here, the sooner we get to the venue. You say venue as if that means anything to me. What exactly am I walking into? <laughs> Fair enough. It's a top secret playground for society's bigwigs. They call it the castle. The castle? If you tried looking for it yourself, no way you'd find it in. You gotta be chosen to enter. Or blessed with a red tiger, for example. So how about it, Joryu? You gonna help me out? You do seem in a mighty rush to get to that castle. Not like I have a choice. Fine, if that's what it takes, let's get it over with. Sweet, I knew you'd come around. Then let's get started. So, I told you that I source info via the homeless folks out here in Sotenbori, right? Yeah. Well, they've been asking for my help recently. Seems homeless people around here have been disappearing one by one. Apparently, they're being taken by welfare thieves. Welfare thieves? Yeah, scum who round up vulnerable folks just to extort them for welfare checks. Let me tell you how it works. First, they promise you a place to live, rent-free, plus three square meals a day. But really, they cram a bunch of people into tiny little rooms, basically cages. Then they force them to sign up for welfare and steal any money that comes in. Their prime targets are the newly homeless, because they're still clueless. So, they prey on the helpless. Exactly. They snatch everything, bank books and all. By then, there's no escaping. The living conditions are filthy as all hell, too. These thieves treat them like livestock. And what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta run those guys out of town and rescue the victims. It's the right thing to do, ain't it? Wait a minute. There's a chance these guys are working for the Yakuza. Most Yakuza families in Sotenbori are backed by the Omi Alliance. Are you prepared to stand against the Omi? Hell yes! If it's our own local Yakuza behind this, they're bringing shame to all of Kansai. I want to see you kick him to the curb and run him out of Sotenbori. <laughs> At least you've got conviction. So, how many welfare thieves are there? Are we the only ones on the job? Huh? Oh, you're fighting them all on your own, Joryu. Violence isn't for me. I just help the victims. Wait, what? Oh, I see how it is. This was your plan from the very start, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> don't throw a fit. They say the righteous won't turn a blind eye to injustice, right? Besides, if you can't handle this, you definitely can't handle the castle. If you say so. Now tell me where to find those welfare thieves. It's time I introduce them to my fists. Hell yeah! Now you're earning that red tiger. Too bad I don't know their specific location. I've heard they tend to pop up on the riverside near Sotenbori Bridge pretty often.
So, what do you say, mister? How about bedding down in a warm house, four walls and a roof over your head? You're no stray mutt. You're a human being. You can't sleep out in the cold like this. You can trust me, pal. If you don't believe me, then come see for yourself. That's very nice of you, but I'm fine here, really. I'm saying this for your sake, you know? And you won't be lonely. There are plenty of others. It's just, when something seems too good to be true, it usually is. Look at me now. If I could go back and do things all over, I would. Damn it! Give it a rest! You keep spewing the same shit! I said, come with me! Fuck's your deal, man! So, you must be the welfare thieves. You guys just do this out in the open, huh? And what if we are, asshole? Where do all the people you help end up? It's time you release them. Fuck are you supposed to be? Some kind of hero? So what if I am? We're Omi men. Bow that head of yours, and I might just consider letting you pay us all. Or you're gonna regret ever. I don't see anyone here worth bowing to. So, tell me. What will I regret? You wanna fight, old man? Great. We'll dump your corpse in the river. Let's go. <laughs> Ask again. Where are you keeping the homeless people? Oh, you. Seems the Omi have really let themselves go. Stealing from people who have nothing. That's as low as you can get. Keep your big ass nose out of our business. Where are you keeping them? It'd be easier to tell me when you still have all your teeth. Go to Dao Kaikon! It's Shofukucho! It's on the second floor! That's better. Now, you deserve some rest. Thank you, sir. You saved me. No problem. Those men said they were Omi, right? Are you gonna be okay? It's fine. I won't be in the city for long. What about you? Huh? If you don't have anyone to rely on, have you heard about Akame? She looks out for the homeless in this area. Uh, no. I'm new to these parts. Ask around and you should be able to find her. Assuming you're interested. Akame. 
you say. Yeah. Take care, all right? Just stroll in here. Authorized personnel only. You sleepwalking, Gramps? I heard you're keeping homeless people here. Is that what this whole floor is for? The hell? Yo, we got a lunatic out here. And he's spouting bullshit. Don't know where you blew in from, buddy, but the exit's that way. This room's locked from the outside. Is that because you've got people caged up in there? Man, this guy's a pain. Spare us the lecture, dumbass. You trying to get your face rearranged? gathered quite a collection. You're never gonna get away with this. You know what family you're screwing with? The Omi Alliance. So watch it. The very dregs of it, aren't you? Seems the Omi have fallen on hard times. Why else would you pull a scam like this? The fuck? So what if you're Omi thugs? Gonna go cry to your boss? 
I'd be too ashamed to admit my family got their asses kicked by one man. Even if you are small time, you've disgraced the reputation of the Omi Alliance. Kick up a fuss, and you'll be the one looking stupid. Who the hell are you? Release all those people, and I just might forget what happened here. I'm saying this for your own sake, you know. <sighs> Damn it. Wow. Amazing, Joryu. You're the best. Akame, surprised you found the place. I figured you'd handle things pretty quickly. Plus, I could hear all the hollering from outside. Wait, who's this bitch? Really? You make your living preying on the homeless and you don't even recognize me? Figures. Of course you haven't done your homework. Shut it, lady! We've been helping the homeless, giving them beds and food and shit. The hell's wrong with that? Huh? Everything's wrong here, duh. You're really sugarcoating it, you little cockroach. You think shoving people in a dump like this is helping? You don't even let them out for air. If it's so great, maybe y'all should try it. <sighs> now cough up their stuff. Bank books, IDs, papers, hand them over. Unless you want another taste of this guy's fists. Right, Joryu? Yeah. <laughs> you heard the lady. <sighs> Seriously, though, Joryu, you're super tough. Thanks to you, a ton of innocent people were saved. If only that were true. Hmm? What you mean? Don't act like you planned all this out of the kindness of your heart. You just want to use the homeless for your own ends instead, don't you? <laughs> no way. I'm not like that. I'm gonna make sure they get some actual support. Oh, really? Hey, buddy. You seem to be misunderstanding me, so let me lay it all out for you. Ain't no way in hell I'd ever take advantage of people like those welfare-stealing bloodsuckers. I owe a lot to the homeless people of this city, you know? I ain't a backstabber. I actually got scruples. And a big part of why I started doing this kind of work was because I wanted to return the favor. This city and the people who welcomed me in, I just want to help them out. Honestly, it's thanks to their efforts that I can earn a decent living. No denying that. You said you owe them. What exactly do you mean? Don't feel like telling you. Maybe later, if I get to know you better. That's so. Seems like the lack of trust is mutual then. I'll ask all the homeless people we saved today to join my network. That way, I can strengthen my intel and better protect him from thugs like this. It's a win-win situation, get me? So, this is how you managed to obtain the info you sell. Yep, and today was an especially good haul. Couldn't have done it without you, Joryu. Now I'll keep my end of the bargain and take you to the castle. <laughs> Finally. Oh, but one more thing before I do. Hmm? Well, Joryu. Seeing as how you're so tough and all, I got a favor to ask. Would you maybe help out again in the future? You want my help? Well, being a jack of all trades, I never turned down a job. But everyone's got strengths and weaknesses, you know? I mean, you can take out guys with one punch, but I could slap someone a hundred times and get nowhere. It's just not efficient. Of course, You'd only go up against scum like those thieves. It's practically charity work. Hmm. Once I finish what I came here for, I'm leaving Sotombori. Oh, really? But... <laughs> I don't mind helping out while I'm still here. Wow, seriously? You're the best! Well, no point in beating around the bush. Can you help me with some other stuff before we head to the castle? Hey, what are you trying to pull here? I know, I know, you're busy, right? But I got things to take care of, so we can't leave till tonight anyway. And we've still got some time till then, so how about earning some money with me? Sound good? <sighs> so long as it's only until tonight. Wow, awesome, thank you so much. Hey! Yeah. Mm.
Sure thing. Hmm? Over here! Sure thing. Yeah. Guess so. Thanks a bunch. 